of you may be asking which anti-tank missile is the most powerful. In today's video, we'll dig into the top 5 most powerful anti-tank guided missiles at the forefront of modern combat. Before we begin our fast-paced journey, if you're interested in military technology and historical insights, consider subscribing to our channel. Your support inspires us to bring these stories to life. So get ready as we unveil the heights of deadly precision and technological achievements in anti-tank warfare. At number 5, it's the BGM-71 TOW anti-tank missile. The BGM-71 TOW, ranked number 5, is a prime example of anti-tank warfare's versatility and durable design. The TOW missile, which was created by Hughes Aircraft in the late 1960s and went into service in 1970, has been a mainstay of the American military's arsenal for more than 50 years. Its name, which stands for tube-launched, optically-tracked, wire-guided, encapsulates the essence of its launch and guidance mechanism, which was a novel idea when it was first proposed. Over time, the TOW missile system has experienced multiple improvements that have improved its lethality, accuracy, and range. The 2B Aero variant cost about $93,640 per unit as of 2021, whereas the Bunker Buster variant costs about $54,956. This price is indicative of the cutting-edge materials and technology utilized in the missile's construction. The TOW missile is a powerful weapon, measuring 1.16 to 1.17 meters, probe folded, in length, and 152 millimeters in diameter. It can penetrate 430 to 900 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor, or RHA, with its warhead, which weighs between 3.9 and 6.14 kilograms. This makes it effective against the majority of main battle tanks. The missile's operational range varies. The majority of other variants can reach up to 3,750 meters, while basic tow variants can strike targets as far away as 3,000 meters. The guidance system of the tow is a military engineering marvel. It uses a wire-guided, optically-tracked mechanism. Wireless radio guidance is included in some variations. To ensure the efficiency of the missile in combat, this mechanism enables precision targeting. The TOW missile has been used in several conflicts, ranging from the Vietnam War to the current Syrian Civil War, and it has shown its value in a variety of combat situations. Its versatility is demonstrated by the fact that it may be used on a variety of platforms, such as fixed installations, helicopters, and ground vehicles. Number 4. The China Hongzhan-12 The HJ-12, or Red Arrow-12, is China's first serious entry into the advanced anti-tank guided missile ATGM market, coming in at number 4. The HJ-12 is a third-generation fire-and-forget missile developed by the significant Chinese defense company Norinco. It is intended to rival and possibly even outperform Western rivals like the Javelin and Spike. Since its introduction in 2014, the HJ-12 has grown to be a vital weapon in the People's Liberation Army's inventory because of its combination of strength and adaptability. The system is man-portable and weighs around 22 kilograms altogether of which the missile weighs about 17 kilograms. Because of its portability, infantry forces can use it successfully in a variety of battle situations. The dual-mode seeker of the HJ-12, which combines TV imagery and infrared homing, is one of its most remarkable features. With an amazing effective firing range of up to 4,000 meters in the day and 2,000 meters at night, this technology allows the missile to function well in both day and nighttime situations. The missile poses a serious danger to contemporary main battle tanks because of its tandem-shaped charge heat warhead, which can pierce up to 1,100 millimeters of rolling homogeneous armor and overcome explosive reactive armor. The operator's vulnerability is greatly reduced by the HJ-12's fire-and-forget capabilities, which enables them to move or seek cover as soon as launch occurs. Its capacity to operate in any weather conditions, along with this attribute, increases its tactical adaptability in combat. The cost of the HJ-12, while not publicly disclosed, is speculated to be relatively high, reflecting its advanced technology and capabilities. Despite this, the missile has seen export success, indicating its competitiveness in the global arms market. The HJ-12's introduction has undoubtedly bolstered the anti-tank capabilities of the Chinese military 
and represents a significant step forward in China's indigenous weapons development program. However, as we advance up our list, the stakes increase. The future missiles are more than just long-range and powerful. They bring game-changing innovations to the battlefield. At number 3, the FGM-148 Javelin, developed jointly by Texas Instruments and Martin Marietta, now Raytheon Technologies and Lockheed Martin. The Javelin has been a critical asset in the U.S. Army's arsenal since its introduction in 1996. This man-portable fire-and-forget missile system was designed to replace the older M47 Dragon anti-tank missile, offering a significant upgrade in terms of range, accuracy, and lethality. The Javelin strikes armored vehicles at their most vulnerable point, the top armor. This capability is complemented by its advanced targeting system, which enables lock-on before and after launch, ensuring high precision in target engagement. The missile's effective firing range extends up to 4,750 meters when launched from a vehicle, making it a formidable foe against armored threats at considerable distances. A key component of the Javelin system is the Command Launch Unit, or CLU, which includes an integrated day-night sight offering a 4 times magnification for day view and a 12 times magnification for thermal imaging. The CLU, weighing around 6.4 kilograms, is detachable, adding to the system's versatility. The missile itself, when in the launch tube, weighs approximately 15.9 kilograms. The Javelin's warhead is a tandem-charged heat or high-explosive anti-tank type capable of defeating modern tanks equipped with explosive reactive armor. The warhead weighs around 8.4 kilograms and is designed to penetrate armor in excess of 30 inches of rolled homogeneous armor, or RHA, making it highly effective against even the most heavily armored main battle tanks. The cost for a single G-model missile is around $216,717, with the export cost per missile being approximately $240,000. The cost of the lightweight CLU alone is about $249,700. The Javelin has seen extensive use in various conflicts, including the Iraq War, the Syrian Civil War, and the Russo-Ukrainian War. Its combat debut was in Iraq in 2003 where its effectiveness in urban and open battlefield environments was proven. At number two, securing the second spot is the Spike Missile, a product of Rafael Advanced Defense Systems from Israel. This versatile missile family has set a high benchmark in the realm of anti-tank guided missiles, or ATGMs, with its advanced technology and formidable range. The Spike missile family encompasses several variants, each tailored to specific operational requirements. The most notable among these are the Spike SR or short range, the Spike MR or medium range, and the Spike LR or long range, Spike ER extended range, and the Spike NLOS or non line of sight. Each variant offers different capabilities, with the Spike NLOS boasting an impressive maximum range of up to 25 kilometers a feature unrivaled by most ATGMs in its class. One of the key features of the Spike missile is its fire-and-forget mechanism, which allows the operator to fire and immediately relocate or take cover, significantly enhancing survivability on the battlefield. This is complemented by the missile's fiber-optic wire guidance system, which provides real-time data link control, enabling the operator to update or change targets mid-flight or correct the missile's trajectory capability known as fire, observe, and update, or lock on after launch. The Spike missile is equipped with a tandem charge heat or high explosive anti-tank warhead, capable of defeating modern tanks equipped with explosive reactive armor. The missile's guidance system includes options for infrared homing and electro-optical tracking, ensuring accuracy and effectiveness in various combat scenarios. The unit cost of the Spike NLOS variant is approximately $210,000. The cost includes the sophisticated technology embedded in each missile, such as the Imaging Infrared Seeker and the Advanced Propulsion System. The Spike Missile System's versatility extends to its deployment platforms. It can be launched from infantry, ground vehicles, helicopters, and naval platforms, making it a highly adaptable weapon system for modern armed forces. The system's weight varies with each variant, with the Spike ER missile in canister weighing about 34 kilograms, 
and the launcher approximately 55 kilograms. The Spike missile has been adopted by over 41 countries worldwide, a testament to its effectiveness and reliability. Its deployment in various conflicts has demonstrated its capability to engage and destroy a wide range of targets, from armored vehicles to fortifications and even aerial threats under certain conditions. And first on our list is the AGM-114 Hellfire, a missile whose accuracy and adaptability have completely changed the face of modern combat. The Hellfire is a multi-role missile system that was first developed for anti-armor applications and can be launched from ground, sea, or air platforms. Due to its versatility and potency, it is now the preferred option for drone attacks and high-value target destruction. Since its launch in 1984, the Hellfire missile, which is produced by Lockheed, Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, or the AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire Seeker, has seen widespread deployment. The Hellfire's unit cost as of fiscal year 2021 is about $150,000, which is commensurate with its sophisticated technology and capabilities. The missile comes in various variants, each designed for specific mission profiles. The most common variants include the AGM-114K, High Explosive Anti-Tank, EAT, the AGM-114M, Blast Fragmentation, and the AGM-114N Metal Augmented Charge, or MAC. The AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire, a radar-guided variant, offers fire and forget capability, allowing it to lock on to its targets after launch and hits without the launcher being in line of sight of the target. The accuracy of the Hellfire missile is well known. The majority of variations use a reflected laser beam that is pointed at the target to guide them in. The missile's capacity to function in inclement weather and through obscurance such as smoke and fog on the battlefield add to its precision. The Hellfire missile has a length of 64 inches and weighs 45 to 49 kilograms, making it small but formidable. Different variants have different operational ranges. Some can hit targets up to 11 kilometers distant. With a top speed of Mach 1.3, the missile can engage targets quickly. The Hellfire's launch platforms are equally adaptable. It is frequently used on unmanned combat aerial vehicles and rotary and fixed-wing aircraft, such as the AH-64 Apache and the MQ-9 Reaper. It has also been modified for use on ships and ground vehicles, indicating its adaptability to several military branches. The Hellfire missile has been deployed in battle in a number of wars, such as the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Gulf War, and the War on Terror. Its standing as a vital component of contemporary military arsenals has been cemented by its efficacy in a range of tactical settings. From the long-lasting influence of the TOW to the adaptable supremacy of the Hellfire, these ATGMs are the ultimate in anti-tank weaponry. Modern warfare is shaped by the distinct capabilities that each technology brings to the table. We now pass the question on to you. Which of these missiles do you believe has had the biggest influence on modern warfare? Post your ideas in the comments section below.